So to, in today's video, we are going to be extracting the DNA of an onion. So let's get straight into it. So first we are going to make a solution in this tiny, in this glass bowl. So first of all, we are going to add uh, 10 grams of liquid detergent in this bowl. A cup, sorry. Perfect. And now we have liquid detergent in this cup, 10 grams. Now we're going to add two teaspoons of salt. Less than two teaspoons, like a quarter, two quarters of a teaspoon in this. Two. Perfect. So now we are going to add 100 grams of distilled water. I have already measured it. And, and it's very important that you use distilled water, otherwise you're, you might not get the proper DNA of an onion. I have already measured it, so I'm just going to put this in here. And as we can kind of see, the salt has sat at the bottom of the glass. So for that, we are going to use a spoon to stir it up. solution ready and we're just gonna put this off to a side and get the onion part done now so beforehand before filming we I my I chopped some onions and we're gonna just put those onions into this bag and then Smash the onion in it so we can be able to get the onion water out. So now we have got a little bit of the onion juice in this. Now we're just going to put this into a bowl. So now we have got all the onions, the juicy onions now into this bowl. And we have our solution over here, which the salt has sat at the bottom again. So we can just stir it. Because if we don't stir it, then this, it won't come out correctly. Perfect. So now we are going to add the juicy onions into our solution. will help extract the um, DNA of the onion. So now we're just going to leave the um, onions in the solution for a bit, so like about five minutes, uh, so we can see what the reaction properly happens and we can get the correct DNA. Uh, meanwhile, while well, that's incubating, we are going to, after the solution is fully incubated, we are going to strain the solution. And after we strain the solution, we're going to put it in a bowl of hot water for about 10 minutes. Then, cause it can, that, that, that while where it's in the um, bowl for about 10 minutes, a chemical reaction happens, with, which allows us to get the DNA of an onion. Then after we put it in a hot water for about 10 minutes, we're going to put it in a bowl of ice for about another 10 minutes so we can the solution cools down and we can add the ethanol in it so we're just going to wait for that to incubate for a bit so now we're going to strain the mixture and we just had to do a change of strainer because the other strainer that i was using before is a bit too big and we took out the tissues because we didn't want the tissues to soak all the mixture so now we're going to strain it Okay, so now we're just going to put it over this bowl. And if any more, if any more of the solution comes out, we can just pour it back into here. And now we're going to just take our hot water. And we're going to just place this in the center. So the chemical reaction can happen properly. And then 
afterwards, about another after about another ten minutes, we're just gonna put it back in some cold ice. So now we've left the solution in hot water for about ten minutes. Now, now we're going to transfer the solution into cold water. It's very cold. It has ice in it too. Oh no. Perfect. This is about good. Now we're gonna leave it for ten minutes and we'll come back to it later. So now it has been another ten minutes and we have left the um solution in ice cold water. Now we're just going to remove the solution from the ice water. We're just gonna set this aside for now. The ice also melted that we have put in the solution. Now we're going to add some ethanol into our solution. Yeah, I've already measured it. I've used Easy Clean Ethanol. You don't have, from Rex. You don't have to use this one, but you need to use ethanol. You need to put around four teaspoons of ethanol into our solution. One. Two, three, and four. We will, if we need to, we will add ethanol as we go. As we can see, the color is becoming even more lighter than it has become, become for. Because when we had put the liquid detergent into this, that was the first step, the color was quite dark. Now, after we've added the water, the onion juice, it became the color, it became quite light. And now, as we after we've added the ethanol, it's become more of a greenish white. So we're just gonna continue to stir this slowly for about two minutes, and we're going to leave it again, and then we're gonna see what happens to the solution. So, so we, I have done this experiment again to extract the DNA from an onion. As we can see, we had the previous experiment over here, which didn't work out quite well because we didn't add enough ethanol in it. As we need to add the same amount of liquid into another cup and the same amount of ethanol so that it can, can form two layers that are equal. So we are just going to add four teaspoons of this liquid into this new cup and then we're gonna add four teaspoons of ethanol into this as well. well that's enough and now we're just going to get some ethanol Just gonna stir it slowly and see if anything happens. So the white particles that appeared on top of the glass were, was the diroxybonic nucleic acid, which is also known as the DNA of an onion. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay. If you did, smash that like button and we'll see you all next time. Good. Bye!